we are briefly talking here about the EM at the sources. The EM stands for Digital Elevation Models and they are nowadays produced by satellites uh, through interferometry or uh, laser scanning through usually um, airplane-based uh, instruments. One question actually is, are the ideological processes written in geomorphology? And um, because now we have so much detailed DEMs and, and data on topography, we have to do our best to get information from them. Uh, we are interested here, however, uh, from where we can assess the, these data sets for doing experiments, for trying new things. Uh, we don't care too much on how they were produced, which is actually important, but uh, you, you can follow several other links that uh, we had on the web page. Uh, following these um, links, you can have information from the whole Italy, from the Portale Cartografico Nazionale, and in the Portale Cartografico Nazionale, you can have also the links to regional data sets that cover more or less the whole Italy at a high resolution. The DEMs have a pixel size that covers one meter by or two meters by two meters. So essentially, the 300,000 square kilometers of Italy are covered now at very high resolution. Uh, this is an information which is actually even more than what we are able to process um, completely and uh, um, finding the best out for, from this data is still a research question. For the Trento province where we live and the wow our university is, and there is uh, this link, which is the, uh, the the link to the LIDAR data of the Trento province. Actually, um, the, the free data sets that does, are not limited to, uh, to local uh, data sets. There are global data sets. The whole earth, more or less, is known at um, quite high resolutions. And there are some uh, free data sets. The first of them is the SRTM data, the Shuttle Radar Topography Mission. In 2000, the, and the NASA Endeavour uh, Space Shuttle covered with a, an, an, an interferometric instrument the whole Earth and was able to produce a map that uh, covered the whole Earth. At the beginning, the detail of this map was 90 meters by 90 meters to the public, but nowadays is also released 30 meters by 30 meters. A more recent data set is the Aster data sets, which is also on 90 meters by 90 meters. And, um, and the, the third one is from the Japanese uh, Space Agency, which is JAXA site and that is also a 30 meter by 30 meter and it is nowadays the most resolute global data set of LiDAR data of um, DEM data sets. We have also MOLA. MOLA uh, of, of who you uh, for who is in, in, for who are interested in this case is um, the data sets uh, for Mars, and in fact, we also know with very high precision the topography of Mars. And we can study the topography of, of Mars with the, the same tools that we use for the Earth to surface. If you want the full, a short story, but the, the full story from uh, for, for these data sets, you can also uh, go to the link that you see below. There are several institutions around the world that produce free data sets of DEMs, and NCALM is one of, of, of these institutions, which is a, actually a joint project between Houston University 
in Berkeley University, United States. And here you see an, Im an image of uh, the high resolution uh, over the Google Earth engine. So if you have questions, please write to me and uh, I will be happy to answer.